Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I want to do um, like a quick hair tutorial on how I curl my hair when my hair is straight like this. So as you guys know, I normally have curly hair, but I do straighten it quite often. Um, so this is how my hair is most of the time. So this is after about having it straight for about, I want to say like 4 to 5 days again. When I straighten my hair, I do not wash it right away because I want to make it last, I guess I could say. Um, but this is how it looks. I have curled it before. So this is like just days of the curls going down. The first thing that I like to do is obviously brush it out, which I totally forgot to brush. My hair doesn't really get like knotted. Um, so then what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take this Pomacho Super Skinny Serum. Looks like this. This, let me tell you guys, works great. I use this when I curl my hair and before I straighten it as well. I only take one pump. I don't need a lot. I just get it and then I start to... Put it to my hair. And I apologize for the like shadow right here. I'm trying to find like a new kind of background setting because I look kind of tired of the, the black background. So okay. So then what I do is I just kind of split my hair like this. I honestly don't do no, you know, I don't section it perfect because I don't like the curls looking like. Perfect. So, what I do is I look crazy. Okay, so what I do first is I grab like an inch or an inch and a half section of hair like this. But I'm going to get it after my ear. So, like in the middle of my ear, I'm going to leave this to the front. So, the curling iron that I use, honestly, you can use any curling iron and I've used so many. This one's the Con Air. Looks like this is like an old one. So, I want to say this is like an inch and a half one. Um, but honestly you can use whichever. So what I do is I don't really go close to the, to the scalp and then I just start to curl it like if you would curl your hair. And then I kind of bring it up like this. And I do, um, I will go in with a smaller straightener for the top and around my face. Um, the reason why I don't go um, in with it for the back is because my, since my hair is going to be down, no one's going to really see like my my root area in the back and on the bottom. So that's why I personally just leave that alone. So this is the, the curl right here. And then we're just going to move on. Depending on your, your hair, I guess, you can grab as big sections, as big as sections as you guys want. For me personally, since I like like more bigger curls I take bigger sections if you like if you want like more volume and more more curls then I would say go in with smaller sections but these sections work for me and it's what's been working for me and again if your curling iron is already pretty hot you don't need to let it you don't need to like hold it for a long time I guess you can say I personally love how my hair looks when it's curled. That's why I do it so often. I do it straight, like when I first get it straightened, um, and that as well. I sometimes I do straighten it myself, but myself, I'm sorry. But for the most part, I normally go get it straightened at my work because the the girls are really good there um, about straightening my hair. So I do it straight for a couple of days, like I want to say two days. I do my hair straight when I get it straightened, like. I want to say like a week or so um, I leave it like two days two or three days straight depending on how I'm feeling honestly or how I'm waking up in the morning and then depending on that I just I curl it the rest of the time and then again with the whole um, like alternating um, that's honestly up to you I know a lot of people they do for the front pieces I can say and I will say for the front pieces like on either side I always curl back um, but the back, it doesn't really matter. I go this way and then I go like the opposite way. I know some people like half their head, they go this way and then on this side of their hair, they go like the opposite way. It's honestly, again, up, up to you and it's what you like personally. So then what I'm going to do here, since this, like, as I said, this is around my face. I'm going to take this Nano Titanium by Babeless Pro. It's like a really, really tiny straightener, which is really, really good for these areas. And, I'm just, and you want to be careful that you don't get your scalp. I'm just going to go in and straighten 
the roots of my hair here. So you can see that helped out a lot. Obviously it's still gonna like stick out like that just because I have curly hair. You just wanna make sure you get as close as possible. Just because I have, um, when I do curl my hair, sometimes you, like, you're able to tell that I have curly hair. So again, away from the face. Okay, again, I'm going to grab a little section right here, and then taking the straightener, and then just gonna... for the front pieces, I kind of grab smaller sections, and then when I'm doing the front, I do kind of go closer to my scalp again, just to smooth it out even more, just so it's not so frizzy at the root, and honestly, as much as I try to not get it as frizzy, like around my hair area right here, or like even these tiny, tiny hairs, it's going to be there no matter what. Um, I really can't, can't do anything about that. So again, honestly just pretty much continuing what I've been doing. I used to do the wand technique. Um, I used to do it with the wand and I used to do it with just like a curling iron. If you guys don't know, um, pretty much the same way that you do your hair with the wand, you could do it with the curling iron. Um, but that one I found gave me more of a different kind of curl and I like this one better because it's giving me that nice curl um, so when I go ahead and I like comb them out it is still giving me a nice curl and if I leave my hair today for instance by tomorrow it's gonna it's gonna they're gonna be like down but they're not gonna look bad um, it's still gonna look pretty good so that's why I like going in with like this kind of technique because I personally like it better the next day Whereas if you use the wand, since they're already kind of looser, they only get kind of looser, I guess. Like, they kind of just go down. And I like this one, because I have like the halt tools one, which is like the old school ones, where it doesn't have this little tip right here for you to be able to grab. Um, so I personally like the one where you're able to hold it. And again, the bigger sections that you guys get, the bigger the curls is going to be. Which again, I'm not, I don't have a specific way. I guess depending on the like alteration or the the way that you're curling the the hair depends on how, what works more with you and what's more comfortable. As you guys can see for this one, I curled it kind of back, and this one I'm doing it this way, just because it's more comfortable for me to do that way. Another way too, you can tell when like the hair is kind of you know that's gonna curl. If you touch the hair, the heat's going through the hair and it's already hot. That's how you kind of know when the hair is pretty much ready to be kind of down. From my ear here and forward, I do them going this way. So I do the curls going that way. Same as I said, I do it going back that way. But from my ear and back, I kind of just alternate them. Again, there's no right or wrong. And then for the sectioning, within the sections, I kind of just... Um, I don't necessarily do like perfect perfect sectioning, I kind of do zigzags and I kind of like do them vertical and I just I just section them like differently so that way there's no like um, like definite separation and there's no harsh line. Kind of the same thing with makeup. And with my hair too, I have to wait a couple days after I straighten it because let's say I straightened it yesterday, like it was like the first time that I had straightened it. Um, the next day I most likely wouldn't be able to go in and curl it just because it was the first day of me straightening my hair, which means that I got it like pretty, pretty straight. So it is harder for me to go in and straighten it when I already had it straight. I'm not sure if that makes sense. 
when it comes to doing the top right here, I'm not, let me go ahead and just go down. I kind of do it going back like this, just so it gives me like that little, that little bump and that little, a little push of volume. That's why I personally, when I get to the top, I do these going back. So as you can see right here, it gave me like that little, that little, little bit of volume. And I don't normally go in, I forgot to mention this in the beginning, um, since it's weird, you know, because I have heard some people um, have to go in with like dry shampoo, um, you know, to put on their scalp. But my hair personally, um, even though I do leave it quite some time straight or curled, whatever the case may be, um, I don't, my scalp doesn't get really like greasy or oily. So I don't tend to go in with dry shampoo. That's just me personally. That's just my hair. Um, but I have known you know other people have to go in with it um, but again whatever however your hair works is what you kind of want to go off of again my hair doesn't really get dry or oily and that is why I don't have to go in with dry shampoo Okay, so after my hair is done getting curled, what I do is first I kind of just mess with the top just because I personally don't like it being like down the middle. I kind of just, you know, because you see, I don't know, like if I were to put my hair straight, my hair just kind of slid right there. That's why I kind of just play with it. And then what I do next is I grab, honestly, it does not really matter what hairspray you use, this is just what. I haven't tried this one actually, um, so that's why I'm trying it today. This one's the Sebastian Shaper Plus. Looks like this. So this is the one that I'm going to be using. Did you sell this one? It might work. They were having a sale, that's why I went ahead and I picked it up. And then I kind of just lift up the hair like this and then spray. And I don't necessarily have to break up the curls just because when I apply the hairspray, it's kind of already breaking them up. I'm not sure if that makes sense, but this is pretty much how my hair is after I curl it. Again, as I said, like going in through here, really hard sometimes. That's why I kind of just pull my hair to the front like that. So as you can see, just lifting up the hair and spraying the hairspray, that did give it a lot of volume. So this is what personally works for me. This is how I personally curl my hair. So if you guys enjoyed that video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you guys aren't already. It will really mean a lot to me. If you guys enjoyed it, again, don't forget to um, leave any comments down below. And that is pretty much all I have to say, and I will see you guys on the next one.